Bonjour! It's Ian. I hope this video finds you well. So for today's video, I'm going to discuss about the spending ratio and the storyline and how I started my um, Hermes journey. So it actually started last um, August 2nd, 2021. Um, that was when I was looking for a, for a belt to elevate the look of my um, Shein dress that I'm going to wear to my uh, sister's wedding. So I decided to um, find a belt in Hermes and then that's how it started and that's how my relationship started with my SA and with my Hermes local store. And then um, from that time until um, to, until today, we would always, like me and my husband would always um, buy um, some stuff from our local store every now and then. So we would usually buy um, from the scarves department, some twillies, some scarf ring, and we also bought some toiletries bag, um, belts, and we also bought some stuff from shoe department, um, from fashion jewelry department, from home department, and we bought some books as well. Um, we also bought some fragrances and some makeup line, some makeup um, from their um, makeup department, but. Actually, it's just lip balm because I don't usually uh, use I don't usually uh, use makeup, as you would have noticed. So it's actually just um, lip balm refills, and then um, oh, actually some um, lip oil. Um, what do you call it? The blotting paper, which I would um, gift my um, my siblings. And also we've got some, we've also bought some soaps as, that we use as um, presents for our friends. And also buy some stuff from the baby department, like um, washcloths, um, towels, and um, bath towels. And another thing from home department we, that we bought was the uh, hand towel. Um, when we visited the store last April of 2023, this, uh, that was April 24, 2023, um, we visited the store to buy something. And then um, our SA told us that um, um, something is coming for me before my due date because that was the time when he learned that um that we are pregnant and we are um due this october actually it's only a few days from now before my scheduled induction date and i can pop up anytime soon to be honest but um yeah so i'm, I'm so excited for this um push present that my husband gave me thank you so much hubs um, I'm not sure when am I going to use it for the very first time, but but I'm, I'm so excited to use it because I really, really love this Birkin 25. Anyhow, um, as I've said, so that was in April of this year when he told us that um, something, something is coming for me. He's going to be offering me something for... Um, before my due date. And then um, come June 5th, 2023, I've got a text message from him. Actually, it was my husband. Uh, he texted my husband that um, he's gonna be offering me something. And at that time, we already uh, spent around $14,130 before taxes um when we got the text message so but the thing is at that time the one that he offered to us was a birkin 25 it was birkin 25 as well but it was in color noir 
or black and we didn't like the color so we had to decline the offer we were actually afraid that we won't get offered again because we declined but he promised that um he can get something for us that i really really like before my due date so that was actually a few days before my 40th birthday but because actually my husband was planning to give a something like a bag that um, our SA will offer to him for my 40th birthday but it did not happen it did not happen because um, because we did not like the color of the of the bag but and also the structure because the structure if I'm not mistaken it was a Cellier um, Birkin which I don't prefer i i prefer this one which is the retourne and then of course the color matters a lot because i'm not a black person when it comes to bag and shoes so it's something that we really had to decline and then um but the thing is the hardware i like the hardware if i'm not mistaken it was a rose gold hardware the gold, rose gold hardware that is real that is one that is really hard to find but but yeah the hardware where, where the hardware was okay i like the hardware it's just the color of the bag that we didn't like so we had to decline and then um that was june 8 when we went to the store and got offered so come september um he texted my husband and said that um something uh is available for me or something or he has something to offer for me that i really really like and to my surprise it is something that i really really like <laughs> so i was able to uh, take home this beauty or bring this beauty with me last september 16 2023 and at that time, the spending ratio would be um, more than one is to one because at, at that point, um, we already spent combined uh, spending between um, me and my husband was already $15,233 before taxes. And as you know, I we live in Calgary, so the taxes here is... It, the tax, the GST here is only 5%. So that's the story, uh, the story timeline and the spending ratio. So for the price of the bag, so let's see. The price of the bag is, -da 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 -da. it is not cheap, of course. So the Birkin 25 handbag, this is the price for 2023. The color is gold and it's a Togo leather and it is in gold hardware as well. And the price of the bag is 12,400 before taxes. So as I've said, we live here in Calgary. So the price of the bag um, together with tax um came up to thirteen thousand twenty dollars so that's the price of the the bag thirteen thousand twenty dollars including taxes so if you are curious if you can return the bag um yes you can return because there's a return policy that um, you can return the items you purchased in Hermes store within 30 days after per purchase. But of course, you know, um, getting a bag offer is not easy. So I doubt if there are people who return bags and actually you don't get the refund to whatever form of payment that you that you made so it will just go to a gift card if you are um returning the item but again of course 
I, I don't think that um, people would um, do a return for, um, for a bag, especially for a Coda bag, because um, it's so hard to get offered from the Hermes store. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this bit video. Sorry. Again, this is Ian reminding you to keep smiling and spread the love. Mm -hmm.